Over depreciation will cause a profit on disposal. Let's look at what we mean. We've got a $10,000 computer and at the start of its useful life, it was 2015. In the first year, we've depreciated $2,000, which will give us a carrying value of eight. We then depreciated $1,000, so we're using reducing balance here. That gave us a carrying value of seven. Then we've got a re uh, depreciation in the third year of $500. That gave us a carrying value of 6,500. So when we dispose of this asset, what we're hoping is we will get at least $6,500. That's how many unused economic benefits we think are left. Uh, we might get more, we might get less, but we that's kind of our starting point. We've gone and sold this now for 7,500. We've actually done a little bit better than we thought. So what happened was we've got a $10,000 asset. We depreciated it down to here, 6,500. So we charged expenses of depreciation that added up to there. And when you think about it, what that meant was we thought there were this many economic benefits unused in this asset for someone else to get. We were wrong because we guessed depreciation. We've ended up selling this for 7,500. Someone thinks there's actually a lot more economic benefits than we thought. Okay, in other words, what we did was we depreciated it too much. We sent it all the way down there when really we should have only sent it from here to here. So we need to fix this. This is called a profit on disposal. We've over depreciated it by $1,000. Let's have a look at that. Uh, oh, sorry, where would that get recorded first? It's actually going to be a revenue and it's not going to go with regular sales. What we'll do is we'll put it there with other revenue. So in this case, we'll say profit on disposal of IT, $1,000, and that will go in other revenue. Just to recap why, remember there's two sort of categories of revenue. There's revenue, which is the major source of revenue for our business, which comes from providing goods and services, selling stock, for instance. That's your cash sales, your credit sales, and a commission revenue. Then you've got your other revenue, any revenue from a source other than selling stock. So that could be our discounts, our interest revenue, and we'll add in from now on a profit on disposal of a non-current asset. Why did we need an adjustment? Uh, to record this profit on disposal. Well, let's look at what was actually recorded. So we started off with a $10,000 computer. We depreciated it down to there. So we had total expenses of $3,500, which was our estimate. Now, what actually sh did, uh, what should have happened and what actually did happen in the end was we only should have depreciated $2,500. We depreciated it too much. We really should have only depreciated it from here to here. And therefore we've got this discrepancy. We've got actual expenses that we've charged of 3,500 when really we should have only charged 2,500. So to fix that, what we're gonna to need to do is say we've charged too much depreciation. We've sent it all the way down there. So we better bump it back up with a $1,000 adjustment, which we call a profit on disposal which is a revenue. So now when we look at that, if we've got a $3,500 expense and we fix it with a $1,000 revenue, that will equal uh, overall a net sort of level of expenses of 2,500. So just compare the two. That's what was recorded. We did too much. We should have only recorded 2,500. So to fix it, we'll make a $1,000 adjustment called profit on disposal, which is a revenue. And if we didn't do that, our expense would have been $1,000 too high. If we just looked at the two here, we've made or created expenses more than what actually happened in the end. And therefore, if our depreciation expense was too high, our net profit would have been understated or too low by $1,000. So why are we doing this? What theory says we need to make this $1,000 profit on disposal adjustment? We've got reporting period, which says match your correct amount of expenses with your revenues. Well, as it stood, without our adjustment, our expenses were too high. So that's gonna make our profit too low in the long run. So what we needed to do was make a little adjustment here to fix it. And that meant our expenses and our revenues were correct over the life of this asset. The other theory that says we should do this is relevance. So we want the most accurate and correct net profit, and that'll help us make better decisions.